Hey guys, this is Geek Out Everything and today in this video we are going to talk about the new Redmi K30 Pro. Yes guys, the K30 Pro is going to be launching this year or obviously this month in March or April. Uh, so yes, so in this video we are going to talk about all the information that I have and what you need to know about the upcoming K30 Pro. So guys, in terms of design, as you can see, the design is actually <laughs> really good and I would say the design is design must be the uh, best upgrade that I've seen. So as you can see we have this uh, uh, quad camera setup and this uh, circular bump and at the bottom of that uh, we have a uh, LED flash and the overall form factor is actually seems to be really minimalistic and it has uh, curved edges so uh, while holding the phone it's gonna feel really great and guys if you look at the top we have a headphone jack over there uh, which is really good because uh, yep you're gonna get the headphone jack with this one. So yeah that's a pretty nice thing because in 2020 it's actually pretty rare and it will be still having that pop-up camera which is really nice because guys personally I don't like uh, any notches or hole punch in the phone. The clean display with the you know the minimal bezels is the one that everybody likes. At least I like so yeah it's uh, it will be having that pop-up camera which is actually really nice in terms of uh, you know that uh, looks I would say so yeah that's about the design and there's one more thing guys there's gonna be a one more version of this K30 Pro which is a zoom version as you can see somebody from Xiaomi has posted this with the Redmi K30 Pro zoom version which is uh, I think the zoom version is gonna be like uh, with extra zoom extra zoom capability like 50x or 100x maybe just like the uh, you know that uh, samsung's s20 plus so yeah that's uh, that but uh, let me in the comments below are you excited about this uh, zoom version or not so yeah that's about the zoom version so if we move on to the specs of this uh, redmi k30 pro then this device is gonna be powered by the latest and greatest qualcomm snapdragon 865 processor which is 5G, which is gonna be 5G capable obviously. So UFS 3.1 storage will give this device uh, extra speed, yep. And LPDDR5 RAM, vapor chamber cooling, some cooling system and super AMOLED display with 60 hertz. Yes guys, it's gonna having, it's gonna be having a 60 hertz uh, as far as the rumor says because of the super AMOLED panel. Uh, in case of IPS panel, if it if it will be having a IPS panel, uh, then it could be more than 60 hertz, like a 120 hertz or something. But guys, as far as I know, it's gonna be having super AMOLED display with 60 hertz. So yeah, that's the information that I have right now. And surprisingly, the K30, the normal standard version of this device, is gonna be having 120 hertz display because that'll be having a IPS panel. So yep, and it is because guys of uh, it is of it is because of some pricing issues because as you know the K30 K20 Pro was also priced uh, pretty aggressively so this is gonna be also having a pretty nice uh, aggressive price so this is why it's gonna be having 60 hertz display but uh, yeah that's the kind of information that we have right now so now the camera so it's gonna be having a 64 uh, megapixel main camera coupled with another three cameras uh, about them I don't have any for the information but uh, guys it may be possible that it will be having a 8K recording capability just like the uh, Galaxy S20 Plus. But uh, yep, let's see uh, what it's gonna be. And uh, uh, because 865 is actually uh, capable of recording 8K uh, videos as we have seen in the S20 Plus by Samsung. And in terms of battery, it's gonna be having a 4700 mAh battery which is uh, really good and it's gonna be having a 33 watt wired charging 33 watt is really good like the charging speed is gonna be really fast so yeah that's about that and so guys let me know in the comments below what do you think about this device are you excited about this and the pricing yes the pricing is gonna be around 30,000 rupees and this device is gonna compete with the oneplus 8 which is which is also coming this year later so yeah so let's see how it competes with that and 865 processor in this price range is a pretty good deal so guys let me in the comments below what do you think about the device and if you have any kind of uh, uh, question about this device then you can ask me in the comments and if you like this video hit the like and you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button i'll be really helpful if you do that and see you in the next one till then bye bye